We're back with Christopher Cook of Alliance Insurance Services answering your insurance question. This one is very timely. Will insurance take care of a leaking roof? Yeah, it depends. Did the wind blow the shingles off your roof and water blew in? Or have you not changed out the roof in 38 years and you haven't cleaned your gutters out in nine and it's a maintenance issue? Um, again, sudden and accidental okay. is always covered. All right, this person's saying, I would like you to talk about injury or accident that happens on my property. Who's liable? Yeah, I love that question because uh, we don't get it asked a lot. Uh, sometimes it's just bad luck. Um, Aunt Sally comes over and she falls and breaks her ankle and there was nothing to do with a, with a mistake that you as a homeowner made. That's usually what we call a medical payments claim. Um, there was someone injured. Medical payments is there to assist with those medical bills. It's not going to pay all of them. Most of us carry a $2,000 medical payments limit. So it's not, some people carry a 5,000, but it's, it's certainly not going to cover the whole bill, but it may help you get to your deductible. Um, if you have a trampoline, but insurance guys hate trampolines, but if you have a trampoline and your neighbor's kids come over and they're jumping on it and they fall off and they fracture their collarbone and it's a major injury, you as the homeowner are going to be held liable. Um, if you have a dog that bites someone, you as the homeowner are going to be held liable. So there are things that you can do as a homeowner that cause injury to others and the liability portion of your homeowner's policy is what's going to pay that claim. What about if I have someone coming over my house and doing work, like cleaning out those gutters and they fall? This is why you always want to have insured contractors, because if they fall and they get hurt and they didn't have insurance, they're going to come after you or their attorney is. Um, and so that's why you want to make sure that that um, professional has insurance, specifically workers' compensation insurance. All right, this person says, if my neighbor's tree falls over the fence and clips my roof, whose insurance do I use? Who's responsible, the neighbor or me? Your insurance policy is going to pay for your damages um, in an act of nature. Period. End of yes. the story, end of the sentence. <laughs> okay, all right. Yes. All right, this person says, my homeowner's policy clearly states I'm being charged more than the standard. Shouldn't there be a specific reason for doing so rather than we can, so we do? Yeah, I sound like a huge smart aleck here when I say this. There is a very specific reason. It's math. Um, and, and I know that you may not like that. We don't, as consum I'm a consumer too, I don't like that either. But the insurance company has to do statistics and actuarial work, and they use math to determine what the rate that they need to charge is. All right, so this person says, what happens if I wanna shop around for better rates and I wanna bundle my home and auto, but they all start at different times? Can I start with a new carrier at the same time? You can start with a new carrier at the same time. Um, you can also move your policies at their renewal dates to the new carrier. That's, that's your choice as a consumer. Um, but let's, I'll pick on a few companies. If you have your auto with Geico and your homeowners with State Farm and your motorcycles insured with Progressive, you can move all three of those policies to Allstate on June 1st, or you could move them to Allstate as they renew. Uh, and those are just random company names that I, that I picked out. But you can do it either way, whatever your preference is. Okay, this person says, when you're filing hail damage on your car using comprehensive insurance, do you get insurance points? I love this question. It's a great question. No, there are not uh, insurance points charged for that. Okay. If someone opens their car door and it hits your car and it causes damage, are they responsible? What do I do? Yeah, that's a tough question. Um, the answer is yes, they are responsible. They are liable for your damages. Um, then it gets tricky because most likely it's a parking lot accident. Um, we really like police reports when we, when we file insurance claims. Police don't love filing police reports on private property, and a, and a shopping center is usually considered private property. So it gets a little bit complicated that, you know, kind of the human thing to do is exchange insurance information. The person who made the mistake would agree to pay for the damages to the person that, that was whose door would dig. 
I like that. That's the human thing to do. That doesn't always work that way, but we'd love it for it to work that way. All right. Thank you, Christopher Cook, for your uh, time and your expertise. Hey, if you missed any of this, maybe you've been talking about this kind of insurance situation with a family member. I want you to go back and look at this interview. It's going to be posted in the two wants to know section of our website.